Hey everybody, welcome to FanCoder's first demonstration uh, and tutorial of the in-Facebook editor application by Lejour. Uh, I want to preface this demonstration by explaining that this uh, Facebook editor, which sits right on your Facebook fan page as you can see at the top here, um, is available for $300 a month and you can purchase it from FanCoder for a 20% discount through our links um, for the first three months if you choose to spend $300 a month. However, if you only have one or two or maybe up to five fan pages to work on with unlimited tabs um, uh, available, you can use it f uh, using our license for $15 a month and a $100 one-time setup fee, which uh, allows me to s configure your pages and add the tabs that you want. Uh, it allows us to put in custom icons over here on the left as you can see, this is the Leisure uh, tab, and this is a standard uh, default icon, which if you don't have the business plan, uh, the Leisure business plan subscription, which is $300 a month, I said earlier, uh, you will not be able to customize these. On the other hand, if you have it, you can always, you can always change these to be your logo icon, etc. Uh, okay, so let's get started. Now this... Uh, this application uh, has 36 individual uh, applications within it, which can be dropped and dragged right onto the page, just like this. Look at that. How incredible is that? Now all you have to do is go in here and you can edit these simply by placing, uh, clicking at the top. You can edit color you can add your tw your Twitter uh, stream in here, and you can even uh, tell us how tell the uh, application how many uh, of the uh, tweets that you want to display on the page. Since you only have a limited amount of space, you probably want to limit that to three. There's a Google Map here to uh, chart the location of the restaurant. Uh, this is a text box. You can put a little message in here. You can change this image. You can change the title and you can even configure a share button at the top of the page uh, so that you can make even personalize it. You can add a LinkedIn button, a blog button, Twitter, website, the whole thing. It's absolutely amazing. So let's just uh, go ahead and get rid of this for now. And we'll just clear the, we'll clear the area. That's how we do it. So let me explain how this um, application works. You can adjust the size of the page simply by going over here to settings and adjusting the height of the page. So we're going to be making a rather tall page. So we're going to go ahead and pop in 2000 pixels. You can adjust the color, the background color if you so choose. Very simply. I would like to use white so I'm just going to uh, go back here and make it white. We're back to white again. Uh, also, you can attach a specific image uh, simply by typing in the URL of that image uh, for the background image, or you can choose a file from your computer by clicking this button here. In the interest of saving time, I'm not going to get into all this because this is something that you can explore on your own, and you'll find that uh, using this tutorial, you'll be able to come, uh, get to use this application very, very uh, quickly and it's quite intuitive so you shouldn't have any problem. Uh, one of the coolest uh, things about Facebook is it allows you to uh, hide content from a casual browser tire kicker and uh, make them like your page before you open it up so you want to have an image that kind of prompts them to do that so let's upload a file from our uh, files here and here it is. Now that has, I'm going to save it. Remember that whenever you do work on your page, it's important that you save and publish that work so that uh, it doesn't get lost. If you navigate off this page and you come back, and all that work that you did will be gone if you don't save it and publish it. So it's very important to remember that. If you come into a, uh, to a time in your, in your editing where you don't like things and you want to start over, just hit clear and all, all of this stuff will go away. So we've got our fan gate image in there already. 
We've set our page up to be at 2,000 pixels in height. We've got our white background, and we're not going to use an image, so we, we can pretty much be finished with these two buttons. So now what we're going to do is we're going to... Let me just show you how cool this is, because these are the applications that you can drop and drag on the page. You have e-commerce, Vimeo videos, Tumblr stream, Flickr, um, uh, photos, uh, a comment stream which you can drop on the page anytime you want. Um, you've got like buttons, Skype buttons, dribble, drag, a, a dig, emails, Foursquare, um, RSS blog feed, Flash. Okay, um, now we are going to uh, begin to drop and uh, drag and drop some of the content onto the page. And we're going to begin with a with a uh, headline title. So we're going to be looking for the uh, text editor. We simply drag and drop it onto the page and when the text editor opens we can enter in uh, let's just put uh, welcome to Nutritai. Now this works like any other text editor you can uh, center it on the page, you can change the font, and we can increase or decrease the size as we choose. I'm going to um, I'm going to go for large because I think that or just regular extra large, not extra extra large. And then simply press done and we'll scroll up to the top of the page and we'll notice that the text is, is there. Now what's really cool about this is we can we can stretch this box across the page and I think we need to make this just a little bigger. Let's go ahead and see if we can uh, make it extra extra large without changing uh, it from being a single line of text. So we'll go to extra large, extra extra large and we'll go ahead and click done and there you go it looks much better okay <clears throat> now we're going to go ahead and uh, use some more of these applications so you can get a sense for how this works uh, let's go ahead and load in an image that will act as a framework for our video which we're going to have uh, as a prominent element of this fan page so we're going to go ahead and now notice these, just so you know, these boxes will allow you, if you know the size of the image that you're dropping onto the page, you can adjust these sizes so that that image comes in perfectly undistorted. However, because we have the ability to stretch these images, uh, to fit uh, and to become what it is that we want them to appear as, uh, we can go ahead and just browse for the image. So the image that we're going to use is going to be this uh, little template here. And you'll notice in a minute what, what those uh, values, those size values will mean when uh, the image finally shows up on the page. And here, here you can see. So all we need to do in order to make it fit is simply to go down to the corner here and drag and drop across the page and then size it according to the height that you want by dragging it down the page. I think we want to make that just a little bit deeper. And that looks pretty good. Now, to enter our video, simply drop and uh, drag and drop it onto the page and enter the value. Okay, so we have our URL, we have obtained the URL that we want for the video, and now we simply paste it into this dialog box in the um, area where it asks for the URL, and we you know if we want to use another now just to bring to your attention, if you would like to add a cover image, you may do so uh, by simply clicking here, and it will open up some additional uh, input uh, places where you can input the values. But we're not going to do that. That's something you can play with later for the in the interest of making this video uh, to the point and shorter. So let's go ahead and click Done. Now, as I said earlier, 
Sometimes these uh, images will hide behind a graphic. <coughs> okay, so now we place the image onto the template. Now we need to resize the video. So as with all these applications, in, in visual applications that have images or text, you can resize these boxes and make it so that that image will fit perfectly into that framework. And you can just adjust it. There it is. Beautiful. Okay. Now, as I said before, we're going to go ahead and enter in a autoresponder. So, uh, most of uh, autoresponders will either require HTML code, which you can get from uh, if you have an Aweber account or you have a MailChimp account, I use MailChimp. It's cheap, it's inexpensive. If uh, you don't have a lot of um, people on your list, you can get it for free. And I like free. I'm sure you do too. So we're looking for an HTML the HTML widget or application. Simply uh, drag it onto the page. The HTML box opens, where which is where we're going to input the uh, HTML code and here it is. The cut and paste this bit of code which I got from uh, my MailChimp account. And we take that, we copy it, and we cut and paste it right into this box and we click done. Now this will provide us with our email capture form. As you get good, I'm right now. I'm using a Mac, and I'm normally using a PC, so I'm not really. This I mean, this really gives you a good idea how simple this is. I don't know what I'm doing on a Mac, and am I, I'm even able to use it despite that. So we just stretch this box to fit inside of this little gray area here. Center it as best we can visually, and there. I think that looks pretty good. So, so far it looks pretty good, starting to shape up. Now we want to put a little bit of a, uh, some text below this, which says that uh, maybe what we'll do, how about this? We'll, we'll drag this down here, and we'll put a little bit of, a, uh, of some red text in here that says, enter your email to receive a free ebook. Okay, so let's find the text editor again. Here it is. <clears throat> Is that how we spell that? Oh, there we go. And Joe, that's pro that's the correct spelling. Okay. All right. And let's uh, let's make it a little bit a little bit bigger, and let's make it red. So we simply go here, make it red. Let's center it on the page, and let's make it into a medium text, and see if we can fit that um, right in here. See if we can get that to fit. I think we'll be able to, once we stretch it out, we should be able to get it to fit. Look at that, beautiful. Fantastic. Okay, looks pretty good. <clears throat> now let's drop and drag another uh, text widget onto the page. And let's tell everybody how important it is to us that, that, we, uh, that we're not going to uh, spam you and we're not going to share this email with other people. So. Um, we also hate spam, just like you. 
and we promise that we will never that we will never share or sell your email and we'll go ahead and make this a little bit bigger we'll turn it into Arial we'll make it a little bigger, we'll make it large and we'll center it on the page and it should give us a pretty good. And now finally, so that we can create a, uh, an opportunity for people to comment on the page, which really helps our marketing efforts, it helps get our page recognized and seen by others, we're going to go ahead and find the comment stream right here, pull it down, enter the URL of the page, which is <coughs> HTTP Facebook. Now, I don't know if many of you realize this, but we can actually shorten that to fb.com forward slash uh, geogulon. And it will work just as well. Now, we can also adjust the number of um, comments that we can show on the page. And let's just show five. We'll just for the sake of uh, illustration we'll show five. And we click done. There it is. I'm going to grab it from behind that text box. Put it up here kind of snug and pull it across the page. And voila! We have one finished fan page. It looks pretty good. It's pretty good to me. So let's go ahead now and save it. Remember to always publish it. And now, because we want to uh, view this <coughs> in an account that uh, does not, uh, that is not an admin. See, this is the admin who this is me. And what we want to do is view it in another account so that we can see how it works. Because we can't get it to work unless we're uh, we're looking at it through another account which is not an admin. So let's go ahead and use this account. Let's push the back button so that we can view the page. And here we are. Looks pretty good. Look at that. Now that is, I don't know how many minutes it took, but it didn't take more than 10 minutes. And this was showing you and kind of giving, you know, giving you an idea how it works. And let's see if the video works. Clinical studies conducted worldwide have uncovered the newest superfood and healing herb known simply as Giagulan. Giagulan has been... Looks pretty good to me. Now, if you watch that whole video, I promise you, you're going to want to put in your email and you're, wanna, you're going to want to get this book because this is a fabulous product. And you might even want to write a comment about it. So we encourage you to do so. And you can see that uh, what the name of the page is. I love working from home, but I actually have a page called Nutritai, so um, which is going to look similar to this. Anyway, uh, I'm really happy to have been able to show you this. I hope that this helps you to uh, enlarge your vision about what Facebook can mean to you and that to, to really kind of empower you to make your own fan pages that stand out from the crowd and show people how amazing... Uh, uh, amazing that this this application works and how it can really really uh, increase your visibility and your marketability thank you In hindsight I realized that I had uh, omitted a very important point that I'd like to make right now and that is the the importance of in adding a fan gate I may have touched on it earlier, but I want to show you how this is done, and I want to explain to you just how important it is. Let's, uh, you know, a fan. What is a fan gate? Well, a fan gate <clears throat> is a way by which content is hidden from the browser until such a time as they've liked your page, 
And this is really important because this actually forces people to like your page. And when they like your page, it gets shared amongst their friends and, and, your, ch and your pages have a much higher chance of being seen by more people. So in order to create a fan gate uh, using this fantastic Leisure application, uh, we simply br we, we first will uh, create an image, and I've created an image, and it's in a file, and I'm going to browse, and I'm going to include that image. Now, we're not going to see the image until uh, later when I, uh, when, I, when I like the page, or before I like the page, and you'll see this very, very clearly in a moment. So we're going to find the image, and that image, which I made uh, several weeks ago, is right here, and you can see it, and you'll see it more closely in a minute. Okay, now it's loading. And now that the uh, page has uh, gotten rid of that little smoke uh, screen, uh, the image has been loaded successfully. So we go ahead and save the page. Acknowledge that the page has been saved by clicking OK. And publish the page. And once again, acknowledge that it's been published by clicking OK. And now, we should be able to log out, go into the other account, click back to the page, and now you'll see the image that is displayed prior to the, uh, the browser liking your page. So, when, a, when someone is invited to the page, or let's say that they've re read a comment by one of their friends that's showing up on their wall or in their newsfeed, and, they and they're interested and curious and they want to learn more, so what do they do? Well, they click on that comment and it takes them to the page, and since they haven't liked the page already, uh, it asks them to like the page. So it says, hey, uh, to open this page, learn more about Giavalon and other supernatural Thai foods just like us. Okay, so when we like it, when we like the page, the content that I have just created in front uh, with you as a witness opens up and they're able to, to view the video. So this is a really, really uh, important part of uh, taking the, f uh, the fullest advantage of fan pages and all the possibilities that they present for us to market our products, our services, and and uh, whatever it is that we are um, that we are sharing and uh, messaging to others. So I hope that this <clears throat> uh, final little bit really kind of solidifies in the the uh, lessons that I've shared with you today and shows you just how absolutely wonderful uh, this application is. And by all means, um, you're you're welcome to give this a try for five days free. Uh, and I'm happy to do that just because I know that once you've had a chance to see this in action and really play with it, that you're going to want to use it and you're going to want to build your pages with this. It's going to save you a ton of money. It's going to give you a whole lot of uh, satisfaction knowing that you have really nicely uh, customized professional fan pages that are, are really going to produce for you some really great results. Once again, this is uh, Robert Bagel, Fan Coder, uh, and uh, uh, look forward to seeing you um, uh, in my email box. Take it easy. Bye-bye.